what's up it's Lucy and if you don't know me already my sister and I have a YouTube channel and we like to create beauty, fashion, lifestyle, DIY, fitness, planner videos so be sure to hit that subscribe button and thumbs up this video so we know to continue making more. So today's video is about the January Birch Box and yes I haven't done a Birchbox video in a while because I actually unsubscribed to Birchbox. And then they lured me back in somehow with a November Black Friday deal. So I am back with Birchbox. We have a very complicated relationship, but I think we are working past that because right now I am so in love with this box. It is so cute, first of all. Like, look at it. Look at it. By the way, it says 2016, the year of the link. Inside, they have this cute little insert that says, we know you've got big plans for 2016. So I'm gonna talk about the products that I got in this box. Oh, and they also gave me stickers. So cute. Love it. I'm going to go ahead and talk you through all of it because I've already looked at everything. And let me just tell you, this has to be like my favorite box so far. So first up, I have this concealer. And it is the Evelyn Iona Cosmetics Natural and Organic Concealer. I actually have this concealer um, in a different packaging, but my friend gave it to me and I love this concealer. I don't think it's as heavy or as um, full coverage as my It Cosmetics concealer, but it definitely is like the perfect shade for me. Um, and I think it does a pretty darn good job of concealing my skin, especially as someone who has oily skin and concealer often rubs off. This is like a pretty dry formula in my opinion that works really well with my skin. I don't know, I'm just in love. And now I have a second pot, so I am like pretty much set for concealer. Next I have the Ico Fat Liquid Eyeliner and I've heard so much about this product and I'm so excited to try this out. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. Like, look at that fat line. It just feels like a marker, which I am really interested to try out. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm like rubbing as hard as I can and it has not smudged at all. I'm so impressed and so excited. Okay, next is the Key West Aloe Gentle Facial Cleanser. And I'm a little wary to try new facial cleansers just because um, I feel like sometimes they can like break you out or whatever. So I'm a little bit wary of trying this out, but I am excited. Um, it has 30% aloe, aloe, aloe. I'm, I'm so terrible. I know Lisa's corrected me on pronouncing aloe vera many, many times. So sorry, Lisa. I know you're cringing when you're watching this right now, but. I am going to give this a try and I will let you guys know what I think. So continuing on, this is the R Plus Co, R and Co. I honestly don't know how to pronounce that. R and Co. I will leave everything down below so you can check it out. But uh, this is the Death Valley Dry Shampoo. Um, it looks so hipster. I honestly love it. It's just, you look at it, you're like, yes, this is the dry shampoo of a hipster. And it smells a bit like, to me, I'm not the most most um, well versed in fragrances but to me it smells very vanilla-y but it's like a really pleasant smell I wouldn't mind my hair smelling like this all day so I am very excited to try this out lastly we have the Chlorine smoothing and relaxing patches with soothing cornflower this is for your eyes so I'm hoping that this will help with like puffy eyes and dark circles and things like that we will have to see so that is it for my January Birch Box. Let me know. So that is it for this month's Birch Box. Honestly guys, this is definitely by far my most favorite box because I think I love everything that was sent to me this month. And normally it's a bit of a hit or miss, like I love one product but I'm like myth about the rest. But this one, honestly I'm really excited to use all of these that they've sent to me. I just can't wait now for my February box. If you're interested, I will leave a link down below if you're not subscribed to Birchbox already so you can go ahead and check that out and make a decision on your own. If any of these products seemed interesting to you, leave me a comment down below because I want to see if you've tried out any of these products or what products you got in your Birchbox. Let me know because I am really interested to see like what else they sent this month. Finally, if you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and 
yeah, let Lisa and I know what you enjoy watching, what you don't. I'm trying to get you guys some more beauty videos as well, so please keep an eye out. Hit that subscribe button so you know when I upload my next beauty video. And going along with this whole theme of 2016, the year of blank, I want to say I was thinking very hard about what I want to make 2016. Uh, the year of what exactly? I think for me this year it'll really be just working on improving myself. Last year for me was like a year of trying new things and you know really learning how to um, transition from being like a student to being an adult and um, you know just trying everything that I had never tried before and I think this year it's more of like I think I've figured out things that I like and things that I don't and it's more like focusing more on improving the things that I do like such as making YouTube videos. So that means that I'm going to have a ton more for you coming up. Uh, I'm honestly so excited. I'm like looking at my calendar right now and there's so much stuff on there. So I don't know guys, I think it's going to be a good year. I can feel it. I'm going to stop rambling now and let you get back to your busy lives, but I hope you have an amazing day. No, 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 no. An amazing week and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay. Gotta wait for the train pass.